Hey guys, it's Mike with Financeable here. It's Friday, which means it's time to go through our weekly challenge question. This week's question is another one of these puzzle questions. And the question here is, we have a company that has $100 of revenue, $5 of DNA, a 20% EBIT margin, they have $5 of interest expense at a 5% rate, a dollar of interest income at a 2% rate, and the question we need to answer is, what's net debt to EBITDA? Now with all these questions, these puzzle type questions, we want to think through what are the pieces that, are, that will get us to the answer that we need. In this case, we need net debt, which is just debt minus cash, and then we need EBITDA, which is EBIT plus DNA or depreciation and amortization. So that's what we're going to work through as we work through answering this question. So we're going to start with working to EBITDA, but first we have to actually get to EBIT, and we have the pieces to do that. So we have $100 of revenue, we have a 20% EBIT margin, and so we can multiply those out and get to $20 of EBIT. EBITDA is just EBIT plus DNA, so we can take our EBIT, we can add the $5 of DNA that we were given in the question, and we can see that the company has $25 of EBITDA. So now we have EBITDA, and we need to work to net debt, which is just debt minus cash. Let's start with debt. So we were told that we have $5 of interest expense and that we're paying a 5% rate on our debt. So we can take the interest expense and divide by the rate on our debt to get to our implied debt balance. We can then do the exact same thing with cash. So we take a dollar of interest income and our 2% rate, and then we take the dollar of interest income and divide by the 2% rate that we're earning on our cash to generate that interest income to get to our cash balance. So now we have debt and cash, so we can calculate net debt. Now let's wrap this up. So down below, we can calculate net debt EBITDA, starting with net debt. So we have debt minus cash to get to net debt. We have our EBITDA up above, and then we can divide net debt divided by EBITDA to get to the answer. And the answer for this week's question was two times net debt to EBITDA. We do these weekly challenge questions each week, so definitely tune in. Hopefully you had a little bit of fun here, and hopefully we see you back uh, in future weeks. In the meantime, hope you have a great weekend. Take care.